force the action. And now here's former net Chris Douglas Roberts, who had a huge game last night replacing John Salmons. And Chris Douglas Roberts celebrating his 24th birthday today. He had 30 points season high against the Heat. And one shy of a career high set uh, with the Nets. So dribbling into traffic, lost it. But the Nets maintain possession. Chris Douglas Roberts actually hit a couple from three-point range last night in that game also. So when he's comfortable and confident on the floor, I mean, we saw a little bit of when he was with the Nets. There were times when he was very tough to guard, but distracted at other times. Humphreys trying to put a move on, lost it. Here comes Douglas Roberts, met by Farmar. Sanders with the handoff. Douglas Roberts on the reverse. That's what he can do, Douglas Roberts. If he gets that little slice game going, that time along the baseline, sometimes he's quick enough to get through the middle of the floor. It's an unusual player, Jim. Comes from different angles. Yep. And when he gets it going, as he did last night against the Heat, it's very exciting to watch Chris Douglas Roberts. That's last touch by the Bucs. He is because it's, it's he goes against the norm in terms of fundamentals on the offensive end. That's what makes it difficult for him to be guarded straight up in terms of when he does that one-on-one -on -one particular moves against you. So he comes from all the different angles. Correct. As I said, there's nothing in it for you. It's testing the knowledge. No question in my mind. He'd come up with a Douglas Roberts move. Head to the line. Do you know who the ninth shortest was? <laughs> All right, here's Chris Douglas Roberts. He's fouled by Humphreys. And Boykins has 5,511 career points. And he's 11 points away to pass another one of the shorter players in NBA history. Johnny Egan listed at 5'11", but I don't think he... Douglas Roberts, that's too easy from the net point of view. Yeah, and it's that curl, too, and that's, as we touched on with Douglas Roberts, that's one of the things he does well. He keeps himself moving and catches it and runs into it in his offensive move. Three minutes to play in this first half. Good luck. Nice pass. Oh, it counts on the foul. Beautiful pass. The entry pass thrown by Chris Douglas Roberts. So the bucket counts, and when we come back, Ilya Sova will go to the line looking for a three-point play as we take another look. Rebound. And that was off that uh, missed free throw, which seems like a long period of time ago, but just had one rebound, not going to cut it. Douglas Roberts able to squeeze his way inside. 73-50. Bucks starting to... Pound the paint, too, if you will. Here comes another one with the steal with Douglas Roberts. This is brutal now. Timeout called by Avery Johnson, and the Nets are hearing it from the crowd. They're hearing the boos. Well, it's time to regroup. The team that's coming off a difficult loss last night. And here's the former Net, Chris Douglas Roberts, finishing it off. Easy. Every pass, every move, everything works. And, you know, Avery Johnson's been around the NBA and a player coach, and you just know when you guys are down 20 and things aren't going well, things like this don't happen. Douglas Roberts with the bucket and heads to the line, celebrating his 24th birthday here today. And uh, Douglas Roberts uh, continuing what has been a layup drill for the Bucks. Yep, from the inbounds, no less. Generally, you see guys come from that position and look for a shot with a quick catch and back to the inbounder. But that just kind of highlights to me more of, you know, you can. But the Nets are trailing 80 58. Douglas Roberts with a series of moves. And the last part of it, Marv, you just, most guys need to plant their, a right-handed shooter usually plants your left foot and goes up and shoots the ball. He just throws you off. Nice backdoor pass, but then the uh, offensive foul, the charge called on Vujicic. Offensive foul, the 27 shot. Vujicic, the second Larry Sanders, the rookie from Virginia Commonwealth, 
checking back in. Jordan Fomar replaces uh, Sasha Vujicic. Vujicic, two of six from the field tonight, four points. Now you take a look at the turnovers. 17 turnover points off the 12 turnovers for the Nets. It's just, so there's a couple of them out in the open floor. There's Chris Douglas Roberts again. 17 points as a follow-up to the season-high 30 last night in the overtime loss to Miami. Chris Douglas Roberts, to your point, Marv, 7 of 10 from the floor. It always brings up that question. You think guys like playing against their former teams. I think they check it off of the calendar and get ready for it. Chris Douglas Roberts originally drafted by the Nets on the second round, spent two years with New Jersey and then dealt to Milwaukee for a, a future second round pick. Last night, 12 of 19 for 30 points, five rebounds, four block shots. 27 and 33 to a team that really doesn't score that well. Chris Douglas Roberts for three. Boy, he's having fun out there. Vujicic. Douglas Roberts able to split through, and then he is hit on the arm. Foul is on Ross. Chris Douglas Roberts, two shots. Uh, two shots coming up for Chris Douglas Roberts. 75% free throw shooter. He spent two years uh, with the Nets. Douglas Roberts, beautiful touch. Another superb game for Chris Douglas Roberts. Nine of 12, 24 points.